After 34 years in business, all that remains of the Independent Adoption Center is the shell of a website saying the center is bankrupt and closed. A message citing the radically altered, quote, climate of adoption. Tonight, families nationwide learning their plans to adopt have been crushed. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak has reaction tonight and what could be the next step for those families. Oh, there we go. Oh, Look at that. Sauce. He's drinking hot sauce. Excellent. <laughs> it's moments like this that make parenting. For the record, that's not hot sauce. It's a toy. Sean and Eric adopted little Jackson 16 months ago. The start of their lives as fathers and the end of a lengthy, costly, and relatively typical adoption process. For us, it took about 10 months. This week, families across the country looking to share in that same happiness are now in limbo. Independent Adoption Center, a national adoption agency, declared bankruptcy, leaving families without an agency to guide them through the process. I can totally understand why folks would be incredibly discouraged, fearful, even angry, given what has happened. The associate director of Amherst-based Adoption Star says a lot goes into picking an adoption agency. That decision in and of itself typically is one that folks really deliberate over. A lot of research, a lot of telephone conversation, um, reading. I just can't stress how much goes into the decision-making process. He urges anyone affected by the sudden closure to call Adoption Star for free advice. Are you making some coffee for the, for the guy from the news? During the adoption process, Sean and Eric admitted they imagined things going wrong, but they just never imagined something going wrong with the adoption agency. And to have it sort of pulled out from under you would be just devastating. Lucky for them, nothing did go wrong. But for some, the road to becoming parents just got more difficult. Adoption process can cost 20, 30, even $40,000. We've got a link to the contact number for Adoption Star on our website, wkbw.com. All right, thank you very much, Jeff.